Good luck if you applied. Tobacco smuggling. It's a growing problem, not just for big business. It's hurting smaller retailers too. Simon's got more on that morning. Good morning to you. Yes, the sale of illegal and counterfeit cigarettes is costing the Treasury an estimated £10 million a day in lost tax revenue. But it's not just government coffers which are suffering. Small retailers such as news agents are being affected too. Debbie Corris runs a tobacconist in Whitstable, claims that cigarette smuggling has been hurting her business. There was five uh, news agents and tobacconists just in this street alone and now there's just myself and a supermarket metro store at the top of the road. So those shops have gone and obviously a loss of trade to all legitimate retailers. Counterfeit tobacco is now becoming a very serious problem in this country. So instead of being, um, buying your cigarettes for me at about £6.50, you'll go and buy them from a chap on the street in a carrier bag for £3.50. Hello. Can I have um, 20 Super Kings, please? Thank you. If you suddenly lose, I don't know, 10% of your sales throughout the week, you know there's a consignment of, of cigarettes has probably arrived. And then all of a sudden, you'll suddenly get the customers back. Well, a summit is taking place today to look at ways of combating this problem. Let's speak to Chris Brogdon, who's the Chief Executive of the Tobacco Manufacturers Association. Good morning to you. Good morning, sir. Uh, what kind of different kinds of illegal activity are you up against? Because there's several different types here. Yes, yeah, so the, the two main types are cross-border shopping, where people go across uh, to other countries within the EU, buy cigarettes and hand rolling tobacco at much lower prices than they are in the UK and bring them back in. Uh, that's done on an individual basis and by white van man as well. Yeah. Uh, but the larger scale stuff uh, comes in, in by the container load through our ports and harbours and that comes from as far afield as China and includes counterfeit um, and what are called illicit whites, which are brands made specifically for the black market. Okay, so sort of, but they don't have like Marlboro or something written on them. They're just, uh, just like you know. Yes, they have spurious names uh, yeah. like Jin Ling is, okay. is an example. Okay. But that in itself is now getting a brand loyalty. Why do smokers care? Is a, is, an, is, a, is a counterfeit cigarette any worse for you? Because the real ones aren't that great for you, are they? Well, the, the reason people buy them is they're half the price, uh, if not. Um, better value than that even. Yeah. Um, in terms of are they better for you, mm. well, what consumers need to realize mm. is that these things are untaxed, unregulated and unhygienic. They're made in mm. uh, poor conditions. Uh, sometimes we found rat droppings in them, nice. uh, bits of plastic, bits of string, mm. uh, and the tar levels tend to be higher. And is this a great case of when you tax something very highly? Because, for example, there are £2 in Poland, there's £6.50 here in the UK, and all of that is taxed. If you tax something too highly, you create widespread tax evasion. Absolutely. I mean, the fundamental cause of the problem is the high tax regime in the UK. We're virtually the highest in the world. We're just behind Ireland. Mm -hmm. They've got a smuggling problem too. Mm -hmm. And in two successive gov uh, uh, budgets now, the Irish government has chosen to freeze tobacco tax. All right. Christopher Ogden, thank you very much indeed. Looking at ways to try and change consumer behaviour in a summit on tobacco smuggling today. For now, thanks very much. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Simon.